Now I'd like to change to Schedule 1, Employment Protection for Foreign Nationals Act 2009. Again, give credit where credit's due. This part, part of it makes sense. We need people with credentials. We need more people in this great province. And there are people who want to move to Ontario because they, Ontario is a great place to live. It has its problems, but we're all here because we believe in Ontario. But before, and, and I've heard many recounts of, 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 of people who immigrated, as my parents did, as my wife did, actually. So you get here, you are qualified, but because you don't have any Canadian experience, you can't work in your field. And if you can't work in your field, you're never going to get any Canadian experience. So, you know what? We'll go with that. But my question is, why did you leave out a lot of, other, a lot of the medical profession? Why did you leave out the one thing that we're short of in my part of the world, Northern Ontario? We are short of doctors. We are short of everyone in the medical field. Why didn't you give the people in the medical field the ability, perhaps, to work in their field and gain the experience so they could actually do what they're trained to, to do? I don't think this government actually understands. And I'll give you an example, Speaker. So now we're dealing with optometrists. I have an optometrist, or actually her husband called me from my riding last night, and he was so frustrated because his wife, they're a young couple, and they are thinking about leaving the province because they can make a better living anywhere than in Ontario right now, and the government doesn't seem to be reacting. So they're, they're, they're not even looking at the people who are actually working here now. Thank you. The member for Scarborough Southwest has a question. Thank you, Speaker. And I want to ask the member from Timmy's Cochran Cochrane to continue on, the, on, the, on that thought, actually, and, uh, and kind of add a little bit about the, this bill talks about foreign credential recognition and allows for some opportunities uh, for many professions, however, excludes a huge chunk of people, a group of people who have been fighting hard, especially during this pandemic, and who are in dire need to be recognized, and the province is in dire need of medical professionals. So if the, if the member could uh, little, you know, share a little bit about that as well. Back to the member from Tamiskaming Cochrane to respond. Speaker. And I'd like to thank the member, uh, my colleague, and, I, and, and give her, a, uh, in response, a personal, uh, I just had a meeting a few days ago with a doctor recruitment group, group in my area. They're called the Worker Bees. And they're from Matheson, Iroquois Falls, and Cochrane. And the doctor shortage there is in, it, it's close to, close to disaster proportions. And I brought up the issue of this bill that because they'd heard about it, foreign credentials. You know what we can find, we could, and I said, no, we can't because people in the medical profession aren't included. Now, hopefully, hopefully we can get them included. Like that would be, that would be, that would be something that, that would, right? But right now, the worker bees and not just the people on the committee, but in Cochrane right now, there's one doctor for 5,000 people. 5,000 people, one doctor. And nothing for miles. Respond. You know, that's why they're so concerned that this bill is missing the mark on medical credentials. Thank you, Speaker.